Here's Miracle digging in the straw. Anyway, I, I want to show all y'all if you're interested in trees or not, or just an interesting thing about nature. This is the property line, and you can see where at one time the barbed wire fence part was around that. And this is actually grown around the wire and took it up and somebody, you know, I don't know who, when, where, why, has came out here and wrapped the wire around it again. But just think of how long it has been here for that to happen. This is like almost five feet up there. Anyway, Miracle is anxious to go. He says, I don't want to look at that anymore. So we're going to do some leaf crunching for everyone today. I'm walking kind of more on the woodsy part instead of along the trail part so we can have some nice sounds for everyone. Hi, Miracle. Come on, Miracle. I know everybody likes the crunchy leaves. Oh, yeah. You want to do some climbing, Miracle? Climbing? No, we just walk by that tree? Okay. Well, come on. Now, you might see these buckets out here occasionally. And... I don't know why I don't take them up, but my uncle used to feed squalls, and he put those out as houses for the squalls, and they did get them and make nests. Oh, it's claw working time, and he did it for years. He'd buy peanuts and bring out here for them, and he had water bowls and everything else. He did it for years, and then as he got older, he uh, just stopped doing it. We're not but uh he just came out here with some at some point in time just took them all down didn't want to do it anymore we're going this way miracle come on i love this big tree up there oh, i'm tangled okay there we go Now that, oh, he wants to get up there, do some more scratching. Okay. <clears throat> now, where I was showing you that fence, there's a uh, big pasture out there. And it used to be, uh, they used to have cows out there. And that pasture right there is not ours. But, um, and then there's a ha some houses if you, if you go through there. Well, this, where is he going? That one house back there. And, no, the people that, I'm going to tell the story about, do not live there anymore. I think they've passed away. But they had um, two twin daughters. Well, that's twins or two. Duh. Anyway, they had, they looked identical. Miracle just wants to sit on this tree for a while. And I'll tell y'all the story. But when they graduated, I think they were valedictorians or something. You know, you write the, uh, some sort of thing as a senior in the, in the yearbook. And they have your picture. and you, I, I don't know what you call it, forward or something. And um, the yearbook was real old, and I was looking at it when I was a kid. And the yearbook was from the late '70s, and I was uh, just bored when I it was just when I was a little kid. And I was just down there looking through all the yearbooks. My grandpa had them all, from all the way back into the '50s, and he uh, would get one every year. He had his would advertise his business in it. So I was looking at the that, and it was the year that these two girls had graduated, and they had a their picture, and I looked, and they're sitting on our bench, and the bench is way, way, way back here. 
You know the one me and Miracle go to all the time? Come on, Miracle. There, there he is. And I'm like, nobody noticed it. They'd had that book for years. And years. And I'm like, I just happened to notice it. And I said, that's our bench and that's our tree. So I took it to my mother or my grandfather or somebody. There we go. We get climbing. We got climbing. It's not high, but he's climbing. So anyway, I took this yearbook to him and I said, look, they're in our woods. They're on our property. And I, it is. Because, you know, you could see the same trees that were behind us. And the bench at that time was further out in the woods than where it is now. So they had to come from way back there, across that field, all the way out here, through the woods. And how did they know it was here? Unless they had been out here roaming around. Right, Miracle? So, I don't know why nobody noticed it until I did. And I wouldn't mean, I was kid when I noticed it, but, um, so, apparently, people do come out here and roam around, of course, this is many, many, many years ago, I say this picture was took in the late 70s, and so I was asking my mother how old the benches are, because we have two of them, and she said, like, I don't know. Maybe 50 years old. And then I was asking her about these trails. And she said as soon as they moved here in 1953, um, my grandfather started making the trails in the woods. Let's go over here, Miracle. And, of course, new ones have been added. And make we can cross over and connect from one to the other. And um, so I've been walking through these woods my entire life. And wasn't interested in coming out here when I was young. Or not even as an adult. It wasn't until I was older that, and moved here. Because I'm not from here, my mother is. That I came to appreciate these woods. Come on, baby, we're going to the bench. Come on. But it's, you know, something I never really was interested in. And now I'm out here just about every day. And now I get to share it with people on YouTube. And that's something I couldn't have imagined. No, don't get on the whale. No, the whale isn't for kidding. No. And here's our favorite tree. And we're almost to the bench. But the bench used to be way back there on the other side. And then they built a house there in the early 90s and moved it over here. And we're at the bench and we're going to sit down and just sit here for a while and relax. I hope you enjoyed this trip in the woods. Thanks for watching.